Hello and welcome to Using Sparklines in Excel 2010, a Microsoft tutorial brought to you by Log on to Learn. In this session, we will show you how to add a sparkline chart to a spreadsheet. Brand new to Excel 2010, sparklines are tiny little charts located in a single cell that provides a visual representation of data. This allows you to, in most cases, view your data and the chart at the same time. This feature can only be viewed by someone using Excel 2010. It is not backwards compatible. What I'm interested in doing is creating a spark line that's going to show me the trend from January to December. And again, I'd like to see the chart in a single cell right next to my data source. To do this, simply click in the cell that you would like to place the spark line chart in. Go under Insert, and notice the spark line group area here under Insert. We have Line column or win loss as our three choices. I'm going to choose column. Notice the dialog box and what it's asking for is the data range that it's going to chart. I'm going to choose January through December and also the location in which I'd like the chart to be built. Since I've already clicked in the cell N4 I'm just going to leave it and say OK and notice the chart. Also notice that we get a Sparkline Tools Design Contextual tab. This has all the different options here as far as editing data and even choosing from different chart types. We also have some different show options that are available as well, our high, low, and even negative points, and our first and last point. We have styles. We have different Sparkline colors. and we also can group or ungroup them. Now what I want to do is I want to copy this down to the rest of our products. So I'm going to use the fill handle and copy this all the way down. Now one of the interesting things about sparklines is watch when I click outside of the sparkline chart. And notice when I click back into the sparkline chart. Notice again it's selecting the entire sparkline. If I hit the delete key on my keyboard nothing actually happens. If you want to delete or remove a spark line or a group, you're going to have to come under the clear button located under the spark line tools design contextual tab and either choose to clear the selected spark line, which is the first one I'm currently on, or clear selected spark line groups. And that's how we add a spark line chart to a spreadsheet in Excel 2010. We hope this session has been informative. Thank you for choosing Log On to Learn, educating the world anytime, anywhere.